Hello all and welcome, welcome back to our channel. So today we are diving into the fascinating world of IVA system. Specifically we will be exploring the IVA system, brain setup and how it plays a crucial role in the development and testing of this advanced in infant technologies. So please, this video will be useful in your interview. Many interviewers ask uh, this brain setup. So let's get it started. So here you can see the uh, infant system that is the central uh, part. Uh, and to uh, IVA, there are many components are connected. So, so what is an IVA system? So an IVA system, uh, short for in vehicle infotainment, is a central hub in modern vehicles that combines entertainment, in entertainment, navigation, connectivity, and more into one user-friendly interface. So you can see uh, mobile devices is connected here. So either you have connected to Android Auto, Android phone, or uh, iPhone. So if you have connected to Android Auto, uh, Android phone, uh, so Android Auto will be enabled and uh, for iPhone, CarPlay will be enabled and you can uh, set, uh, you can enable many features like navigation, uh, music, calling functionality and VR, voice recognition and much more. So here in Portainment Systems, uh, the uh, components are speakers, USB, uh, tuner, uh, and in harness, there are multiple connections. So, using that connector, you can connect to it. Okay, basically, they are wired. So, uh, that harness. So, uh, IVI channel A and channel B, or some organization called channel 1 or channel 2, are connected to uh, input and system. See, channel 1 and channel 2 is connected to the input and system harness. Okay, now, vector can do this uh, further connected to the uh, laptop or your PC through USB. USB cable which is connected to the vector can do. So if I show you this diagram, see here uh, laptop, uh, through laptop uh, USB cable is uh, connected uh, to the uh, vector can do. And vector can do has channel 1, channel 2, this white one are further connected to the harness of IVI, here yellow one, channel A and channel 2. So this connect, uh, these connections I have is same, same like this one in the real world. Channel 1 and channel 2. Okay, now IVI is uh, this is the harness. So this harness has a uh, power supply connector, okay, uh, positive and negative, which is connected to the power supply. And power supply is further connected to your uh, switch. Then power supply has operating voltage of, eight, uh, of uh, more than 8 volt and less than 6 volt. If it is less than 8 volt, then your IVI will, uh, will be turned off. And if it is uh, over voltage, then, your, uh, then again it will be in. Uh, IVI will be turned off. Okay. So maintain. So operating operating voltage is 8 to uh, 8 to 16 between 8 to 16 voltage. Okay. So this is the uh, overall architecture or connection of the bench level testing. So, so uh, when so uh, now this connection you have done. So now the question is how you will turn on the IVI systems because you 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 have connected to the can tool. So thinking that uh, you have done hard this hardware setup. Okay, now how will you turn it on? So for this you, you should have installed a vector canary software in on your PC or uh, laptop. So once it is installed, you can do your configuration according to uh, uh, which, uh, you can do uh, canary software configuration. To do this, uh, I, have did, I have explained in my previous uh, uh, videos how to do configuration, canoe configuration in my uh, vector canoe tutorial playlist. I will provide a link uh, in my in this video so description. You can click on this and you can check uh, how to do canoe uh, config setup. Okay, so now uh, once the setup is done and you turn you turn on the uh, canoe, so this uh, screen, uh, uh, this IVI screen will be turned on or head unit will be turned on and you can do your uh, further testing as per uh, the, as per the your requirement. So uh, now uh, you have gone through that uh, this is setups. Now uh, you will be wondering, uh, okay, this is a bench level set setup I have done. So what is the benefits of bench level testing in IVI system? So the benefit is uh, ensuring functionality. Ensuring functionality means uh, bench level testing the uh, test every aspect of the system from navigation to media playback, navigation to media playback, playback right here on the bench. Now the second one is uh, identifying the uh, identifying and resolving issues by simulating real world scenarios. Uh, bench level testing helps identify any potential issues early on. This means 
quicker uh, troubleshooting and resolution before the system ever makes into it into a vehicle. Okay, now the third one, third and most important cost effectiveness. Bench level testing is also incredibly cost effective. Uh, let's imagine the expenses involved in deploying uh, involved in deploying test vehicles for every single software iteration. So bench testing significantly cuts down on this cost while maintaining thorough, thorough uh, testing protocols. Uh, the fourth one is speeding up development. Uh, speeding up development means uh, with bench level testing, the development cycle becomes more efficient. Engineers can rapid, rapidly iterate on soft, software updates, test new features, and fine tune performance without the delays of individual testing. And safety. Uh, safety is paramount in IBI systems. So, bench level testing is pure tech. Safety features such as emergency alert, hands free control, and driver assistance systems are rigor rigorously tested for reliability and effectiveness. Customization and flexibility. So, this one, the bench setup allows for customization and flexibility. Engineers can easily swap out components, simulate different vehicles, uh, components, environments, and test a wide range of scenarios without the constraints of physical uh, physical vehicles. So, uh, bench level testing is so bench level testing is the backbone of IBI system development, offering a range of benefits from functionality, checks to cost saving and safety enhancement. So, uh, that's it in this video. Uh, Good morning.